If the potential to generate wealth exists everywhere, why is it that relatively few people control almost all the riches? If the potential to succeed to live a happy, fulfilled life is available to everyone, why do so relatively few people live full and fulfilling lives? Why have some individuals and nations developed and prospered while others have languished and suffer? What is the difference between the haves and the have-nots? To make my point, I'll work through the economic example of wealth. I just have to let you know, success in life has little to do with wealth, but wealth is something many aspire to, thinking wealth is the means to happiness. Gross domestic product is a measure of a commu the cumulative value of goods and services produced in an economy. That is the value added by human ingenuity and labor. GDP is an indicator of national wealth. A cursory survey of countries and regions around the globe demonstrate a wide disparity in GDP and in the accumulation of wealth. Production as measured through GDP or prosperity as measured in accumulated wealth is not evenly distributed around the world, around a country, or even around a town for that matter. While the potential to contribute to GDP, GDP or accumulate wealth is virtually limitless, not all individuals and not all economic systems manifest that potential with the same efficiency. Wealth is a function of the synthesis of motivation, ingenuity, and resources. Trade or economic activity is the catalyst. Wealth is built on three components, desire, wants and needs to satisfy, means to produce, and a medium of exchange, that is a system. In traditional economic parlance, money-making activity is a system of supply meeting demand. To create anything of value, people apply energy and talent manipulating elements of the environment. People act toward an end, that is, employ knowledge, labor, and resources to produce a product or service that is of use to others, adds value, satisfies wants or needs. Desire is the engine that drives the process, while ideas are the creative spark that ignite and fuel the engine. Ideas are accessible to everyone, free and abundant. Ideas only require preparation, focus, and openness. An individual must be willing to think, question, imagine, and then receive the idea. While the supply of ideas is inexhaustible, some people exploit the potential of ideas to create. Most do not. In the same way, some people control wealth. Most people do not. In a world of limitless bounty, the difference between the haves and have-nots, the wealthy, the happy, the successful, can be found in each of the elements of building wealth, desire, means, and medium. Achievers are motivated by the base desire. They act, they acquire the means to produce, and they dominate or are supported by a system. Achievers differentiate themselves from the masses by satisfying desires at a far greater rate than most of us. Achievers leverage assets to realize definite ends. Most people, on the other hand, do not define ends, but rather drift about aimlessly. Success does beget success, but essentially, the difference between the haves and have-nots, the difference that matters, is a willingness to act. Achievers are those bold enough to act. Achievers exploit what is abundant, what is accessible to all of us, ideas. Ideas fuel progress and prosperity. Thoughts literally become things. Desire is the discriminator. Desire fuels action. In a reality of unlimited opportunity, the difference between the haves and have-nots is the motivation to act. If you want to be an achiever, if you want to be happy, successful, wealthy, and remember, these don't necessarily go together, focus on what motivates you. Passion, desire, and drive determine success. The difference between the haves and the have-nots is not in the environment or the opportunities available. The difference is the choices people make. You are in control. Make choices that take you to your highest good and you'll be one of the haves. If you have a comment or would like me to come by to speak to your group or organization, drop me a line at scott at cachieve.com. I'm Scott Parody with Success 101 Workshop. Till next time, all the best.